Hello friends, my name is Ankit and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to teach you German language. See, this chapter is very useful for beginners who want to learn German language. Seriously, it is very useful because you need to learn the basic pronunciation, the pronunciation rules, you need to learn lots of things like uh, grammatical portions and uh, introduction, how to make negative sentence, how to make interrogative sentence. So you have to learn lots of things. Okay. So firstly, I have to say one thing that if you have any questions, you, uh, you can ask me on the comment box. I will answer you and you if you ha want to ask me personally you can whatsapp me and I will help you show I uh, definitely I will help you so in today's lesson we are going to cover up some topics uh, some basic some very important topics and the topics are alphabets the pronunciation the name of alphabets like A B C D. we are going to cover up that A alphabet song with a native pronunciation a native person will sing a rap song or alphabet for you and pronunciation practice some pronunciation rules we have to learn how to how to sound a uh, german word we have to learn some pronunciation rule it is very important then greetings we will do the pronunciation practice in greetings also and we have you have to learn greetings also then to be present like I am, you are, he is, she is, what we will call in German language, we will do that. Haben, haben means a to have, we will do the conjugation of haben, er, z, s, where, z, z, with the i, u, he, I have, you have, she, he has, he has, so like we have to do haben. Then the table of the, it is very important because German language have 16 types of the there then them that's the the there there does does the them that's the the then there it's very typical we i will give you some basic things about the table the then again the table a uh, it's called ein ein then introduction the basic lines basic introduction in german language some introduction lines and uh, you will learn how to introduce yourself then negative negative portion mm, like you how you how to make a line negative then interrogative interrogative part is also important but before proceeding i will say please watch this video at the end and subscribe my channel if you want to get new videos more and more videos please subscribe my channel i will be very thankful to you okay so let's proceed so now friends we are going to learn alphabets the alphabet is das alphabet alphabet das alphabet the alphabets is called the alphabet the alphabet so now a a is called a b is b c is c c is c c d is d e is a f is f g is g H is ha, I is e, J is yot, it's yot, then K is ka, L is l, M is m, N is n, same as in English, L, M, N, O is same as in English, L, M, N, O, P is p, Q is q, R, R is r. Er. Yeah, sometimes it sounds like uh, 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 but it's er. Uh. So S is S, T is T, U is U, V is Pau, Pau, W is V, X is X, X, Y is Ypsilon, Ypsilon. Z, Z is set set friends we have a character that is called umlaut the double dot you are seeing uh, above the a o and u it is called umlaut 
so a umlaut is a o umlaut is u u umlaut is u then you are seeing a sign like a beta it's like a beta sign it's called etz it etz it the sound of etz it is s it's like i say ich heiße ankit wie heißen sie heiße h e i s e t e heiße means called so s it s the sound is s and uh, we can write down s it is like double s yeah we can write alternatively to double s okay so now i am uh, doing some fast like uh, fast i am reading a b c d in the fast way a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z now i am singing a song for you a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z okay so you have to learn and one more important thing i have to say that uh, these are the name these are the name of the alphabet some people ask me like uh, so guten g u t e n why we are calling it guten 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 we are, why we are calling it guten uh, we have to call it g u t e a n no that is wrong it's a name alphabets these are the name of the al english alphabets and that is a sound like g sound is g we also use in as in english also like giraffe so we don't call it g e r r a we just have uh, simple we have to say giraffe so these are the sounds these are the name and we are now next we are going to read the sounds how we will pronounce a uh, combination some sound combinations a uh, consonant combination vowels combinations and uh, lots of thing we have to do okay so we are going to learn next the pronunciation rules A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I H I J K L M N O P Q R Q R S T U V W X Y Z Z Z Z so friends we are now learning pronunciation rules pronunciation rule consonant some consonant combination we have a combination ch ch sh k yeah we have all of the pronunciation like ch it is it depends upon the condition what the vowels we have like uh, ich the sound is ish ich sound is ish E C H, 
ECH sound is ash ash ECH ECH sound is ash ash ACH ACH sound is ah ah again listen properly ACH sound is ah ah now OCH OCH sound is oh oh I know it's very typical to pronounce uh, like oh ha ha but you have to pronounce in the back of your mouth oh UCH UCH sound is oh oh UCH UCH is oh oh now now we are uh, for like uh, ch ch the ch ch sound is like we have a word milk it is milch in german m i l c h so we so sound is milch because we don't have a vowel we don't have a uh, umlaut with a vowel we just have a consonant consonant and the s consonant is not co uh, applicable in this uh, ch so because s c h is sure so we have LCH so we are pronouncing it milch so it is milch m i l c h is milch now c k k c k k p h f p h f uh, some people pronounce it like p p yeah it's like p and f mix it's not a proper f it's p and f mix double s sound is z yeah in german double s sound is z z and uh, sometime it's s also but uh, most of the time it's z and uh, whenever we have s with the vowel uh, we sound the sound is z always z like s e i d zeit okay I K is eek, eek, eek. S C H, S C H sound is sh, sh. Again, S C H sound is sh, sh. Now T H C H, T H C H sound is ish, ish. Like uh, we have a word, doish, D E U T S C H. E U is I. And T S C H is ish, so it is doish. T H, tha, tha, tha. I G. Whenever you have I G in the last, you will pronounce it like e. E. Now we have one more thing I left before. Uh, it is D S C H. D S C H is J. Yeah, it's very complicated. Yes, C H is J. There is no, uh, not a rule of for this. It's exception. You have to accept it. D S C H is J. Okay. Now umlaut. If we have umlaut with a umlaut with C H, the sound is a ash, a ash, a ash. Listen carefully. A ash, a ash, a ash. Now os umlaut ch. The sound is yosh, 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 yosh. Now I have to say about we have some. Uh, it's not like that. Uh, like we have uh, o ch and o umlaut ch. The sound is same, uh, and the meaning is also same. No meaning is not same. Like we have s ch o n. Already, Sean. It is Sean. Sean is already, but we have S C H O umlauten. It is pretty, and the sound is Sean. 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 You umlaut C H. It is Yush. 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 Okay. So now on German vocabulary, German vocabulary, we have to learn now some vocabularies. So it is German English, German English, German English. So we are going to pronounce it. While, 
why while why not while while because e i sound is i it's like a i i e y i so while damit damit means so that you can see damit damit when 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 before means before before sorry before it is before before because v is v v sound is for so before before means before pals pals zeit them here you can see e i is i and after s there is a e it is a vowel so it is called z so it is zeit them zeit them so that is so das das so das so zo so das it's not so it's zo zo so das we have vowel so zo so das and zo so white zo so white was 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 woin 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 we feel here we have i e and we are pronouncing it is like e e so we we feel so now on the again we are, we are going to pronounce this line while 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 damit 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 when 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 before 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 pals 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 zeit them zeit them so das so das so das so weit so weit so weit was 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 woin 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 we feel we feel we feel okay friends now your turn to repeat repeat uh, after me while good damit when before pals side them side them zo so das zo so white was woin woin we feel okay now the next das das means that als ob as if als ob you see that lots of word are similar lots of combination are similar that in english from from english it's very similar so das das als ob as if als when when for the past it's not like when you are going it's like when you have gone okay so it's for the past and it's when als then bis 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 means uh, until in them in them it means in which here we have them them means the in german but in this position we called it which so in which then zobal zobal now i am saying you something s after s o it is zo b a l d d is in the last when the letter d is in the last the sound is t t so zobal it's not t it's t 
Zobalt. As soon as. Now, Zuft. Zuft. As often as. Now, Während. 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 Means while. Then, wo. Wo. Wo means where. Wo means where. Then, wie. Wie means how. Wie. Wie lange. Lange means long. Wie lange. How long. How long. It's wie lange. So, now I'm reading from while to wie lang. While. Damit. When. Before. Pals. Seit dem. So das. So weit. Was. Wohin. Wie viel. Das. Also. Als. Bis. In dem. So bald. Suft. Während. Wo. Wie. Wie lange. Now I am repeating this. And repeat after me. Das. Again. Das. Das. Also. 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 Then. Als. 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 Okay. Now. Bis. Bis. Repeat after me. Bis. Again repeat. Bis. Now. In them. In them. In them. Okay. Zobald. Zobald. Repeat it carefully after me. Zobald. Zobald. Again, once again. Zobald. Then. Zuft, 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 again, Zuft, now, this is typical, Während, 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 now, Wo, Wo, repeat after me, Wo, Wo, now V V V again V now V Lang V Lang it's not Lange it's Lang G we have the sound of E is like uh is like a chota uh oh sorry it's like small a uh, V Lang V Lang okay now the next line so now a wall a wall means all do a wall repeat after me a wall good ob ob means if ob als when als when als when eh eh before yeah we have before and eh both as i like before but it uses it used in a position in a condition i will later talk about this and next some some few chapter we'll go when we'll go for the like uh, in this topic then we will talk about this okay so it is eh nach them after which nach them Nach them. Repeat after me. Nach them. So long. So long. As long as. So long. So long. Warum? Why? Warum? Why? You, are, you must be thinking that why he is taking so much time for this pronunciation, for this little bit. But... Uh, Trust me, friends, you have to practice. And the practice, you have to do practice 
lots of practice for the pronunciation then you will get the tone of real german or native pronunciation so continue waum repeat after me waum waum now woher 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 wo means where and woher means where from even we can use wo here like wo and at the first of the sentence first word and here at the last the meaning will be same wo here wo here common z where do you come from or i can say wo common z here both are okay where do you come from ish come out in the end i come from india okay wo here we oft how often we oft we oft we shall why for what reason like uh, uh, we ask somebody question why uh, why he is going and uh, sometimes we just ask why why it's like expression why so then we should say we shall we shall okay now i'm repeating the second line and the third line so tas also als bis in them zobalt zuft wahan wo we we lang a wohl ob als wenn eh nach dem so lang warum woher we oft we shall now the last line repeat after me and trust me this is the last one of wohl of wohl repeat good ob ob als wenn als wenn eh hey eh hey nach dem nach dem so lange so lange warum warum woher woher wie oft wie oft we shall we shall so guys keep practicing about german vocabulary learn some vocabulary learn this vocabulary use them practice them follow the rules there are lots of rules also and so follow the rules learn make your practice perfect and try to speak as a native person one thing more i have to tell you all of uh, some person ask me you want sir i want to pass german max miller bhavan go with exam the level a1 the level a2 okay uh, i understand but they ask how we have to learn so my answer is you have to focus on your four skill listening reading writing speaking listening reading writing speaking and if you have a native converse conversation with you native person with you that is the perfect thing just converse with him okay see you on the next topic and my our next topic is greetings these are the vocabulary and we are going to do now greetings now some greetings guten morgen guten tag guten abend guten nacht tag okay auf wiedersehen auf wiederhören mach's gut danke bitte danke sehr bitte sehr vielen dank willkommen tschüss brush ausgezeichnet gut gemacht so let's start from beginning guten morgen guten is mean it means good sometime it is good day because it's a, it's a conjugation sometimes we use good sometimes we use a good day sometimes we use good ten it depends upon time so good ten morgen good morning 
Guten Tag. Guten Tag means hello, good day. Tag is also hello. Tag is hi also. Guten Tag is good day also. Guten Tag is hello also. Okay. Now, Guten Abend. Abend. Guten Abend. Guten Abend means good evening. Good evening. Repeat after me. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Guten Abend means good night. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Now again, tag, tag. I already told you that tag is hello. Tag, hello is hi and hello. Tag is also hello. Tag is also hi. Hello is also hi. Hello, hello is also hello. Means so okay. Okay is okay. Why is okay? Okay, okay. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. But it is for singular. Remember. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. And it is a goodbye for singular person. Auf Wiedersehen. See guys, here we have a mistake. And the mistake is on the O. After H, there is O. You have to put down an umlaut. Yeah, it is W I E D E R H O umlaut are again. So, auf Wiedersehen, goodbye, goodbye, only for phone or radio. When you are, you are in phone or on radio, you should say, goodbye, auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen, marks good, marks good, marks good, means good luck, take care, okay, danke, danke, danke means thanks. Bitte. Bitte means you're welcome or please. Both. Bitte means please also. Bitte means you're welcome also. Okay. Danke sehr. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Danke sehr. Bitte sehr. Not at all. Mention not. Bitte sehr. Not at all. Mention not. Vielen Dank. Thanks a lot. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. Thanks a lot. Vielen Dank. Willkommen. Welcome. Willkommen. Welcome. Tschüss. Here we also have one more mistake. In on the U, you have to put umlaut. Just umlaut. Tschüss. Tschüss means bye bye. And it is for plural one. When you have plural. Uh, but in Germany, uh, most of the person use tschüss. Okay. Tschüss. Brushed. Cheers. Brushed chairs, brushed chairs. Aus gesaichnet, aus gesaichnet. It, it is typical one. Aus gesaichnet, aus gesaichnet. Excellent. Gut gemacht, well done. Gut gemacht, well done. Now repeat after me. Guten Morgen, guten Tag. Guten Abend, Guten Nacht, Tag, Hallo, Okay, Auf Wiedersehen, Auf Wiederhören, Mach's gut, Danke, Bitte, Danke sehr, Bitte sehr, Vielen Dank, Willkommen, Schuss, Prost. Ausgezeichnet. Gut gemacht. Well done. Gut gemacht. Es tut mir leid. Es tut mir leid. Sorry. Sorry. If I've done, done something wrong. Es tut mir leid. Anschuldigung. Anschuldigung. Again, repeat after me. Anshul Digung. Excuse me. If you have to say, excuse me, sorry, so we should say, Anshul Digung, es tut mir leid. Anshul Digung, es tut mir leid. Ich liebe dich. I love you. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Dish is the second form of you. And I is ish. So, ich liebe dich. Ich mag dich. I like you. I like you. Ich mag dich. 
I like you. Das geht? That is possible. Das geht? That is possible. Das Frout mich? That make me happy. That pleases me. Das Frout mich? Das Frout mich? Okay. Alles klar? Is that clear? Or all clear? Alles klar? Alles klar? Feel Gluck? Best of luck. Feel Gluck? Best of luck. Guten Appetit. Enjoy your meal. Guten Appetit. Enjoy your meal. Appetit. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy our meal. Our meal. Enjoy our meal. Guten Appetit. Anshul digen sie bitte. Excuse. Bitte. Excuse me please. It is excuse me please. So friends, repeat after me. Es tut mir leid. Es tut mir leid. Mea. It's mea leid. Es tut mir leid. Okay. Es tut mir leid. Anshul digung. Anshul digung. Anshul digung. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich mag dich. Ich mag dich. Das geht. Das geht. Das fraut mich. Uh, can you see that uh, I am uh, using fraut? Fraut is F R E U T. I am not using its fruit. I am using fraut. F R E U T. It's fraut. Because fraud. Fraud is why? Because E U is oi. Oi. Fraud. So das fraud mich. Alles klar. Is that clear? Alles klar. Feel gluck. Feel gluck. Feel gluck. Feel gluck. Guten Appetit. Guten Appetit. Anschuldigen Sie bitte. Anschuldigen Sie bitte. Okay. These are the basic greetings we have to learn. And uh, now I am going to teach you to be present. To be present means I am, you are, he is, she is. So I am going to teach you to be present, haben, and two more. It's okay. So just wait. So we are going to learn the present tense of sein, haben, werden, and wissen. Sein means to be, haben means to have, werden means to become, and wissen means to know. So first, ich bin. Ich bin. Du bist. Du bist. Er, sie, es, ist. Wir sind. Ihr seid. Sie, sie, sind. So, I is ich. I am is ich bin. You are is du bist. And er, sie, es. It is he, she, it is. He, she, it is. Yeah, he is, she is, it is. We are sind. We are sind. Er seid. Er seid. We are sind means we are. We are. Er seid means you are. Then sie sind. Sie sind. We have two z here. First z is you and second z is they. Sie sind. You are. They are. So guys, we have three u here. First one is du. Second one is ear. And third one is z. What's the difference? The do is informal singular. Informal singular. And here is informal plural. Informal plural. Z is formal singular and plural. But remember one thing. We have three Z also. First Z. The R Z S and this Z is she. She. Okay, Z is she. Then we have two Z here. 
first one is in the capital letter and second one is in small letter so the, so the capital letter s is u it's for u and small letter s z is for small it's a they it means ye they sorry it means they so we always use capital le uh, letter on u s is cap capital okay so i am you are he is she is it is we are you are then you are they are okay now haben ish hab ish hab ish hab du hast du hast du hast du hast er hat sie hat es hat er hat sie hat es hat wir haben wir haben er hat er hat er hat sie haben sie haben again sie haben sie haben so these are called the verb conjugation here you can say that we have e on the first h a b after that e then we have s t then we have t then we have e n then t then e n this is called verb conjugation okay again i am repeating i am you uh, i am uh, sorry to be and to hire ish bin du bist er ist sie ist es ist wir sind ihr seid sie sind sie sind ich habe du hast er hat sie hat es hat wir sind sorry wir haben ihr habt sie haben sie haben now we are going to learn to become wurden so it is wurde wurde ich wurde ich wurde du wirst du wirst du wirst er wird er wird er wird sie wird sie wird es wird es wird wir werden wir werden er werdet er werdet sie werden sie werden okay now we are going to learn to know we sind so here you can see that uh, s it is used on the first three and then double s doesn't matter you can use s it you can use double s both are applicable and both are allowed so ish weiss ish weiss du weist du weist er weiss Z weiss, S weiss, R weiss, Z weiss, S weiss. Wir wissen, wir wissen, wir wissen. Er wisst, er wisst. Z wissen, Z wissen, Z wissen. I have to tell you one thing. The form of sein haben werden wissen if you use this form this is called infinitive form this is called infinitive form and the form we are using in like uh, ich bin du bist or ich habe du hast that bist hast that habe that werden that wise is called finite form finite form so you have to remember because in german there are two types of verbs also regular verbs irregular verbs the regular verbs are those which have their particular conjugated form this is called conjugation verb conjugation so regular verbs are those 
which which has their particular conjugation form there is a pattern and irregular verbs are those they don't have any pattern these four are irregular verbs they don't have any pattern so but i am going i'm going to tell you that uh, if your verb like uh, arbeiten so like tanzen tanzen means to dance arbeiten means to work in tanzen t a n z is the stem form and e n is the radical form and in regular verb only radical get changed like tans 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 tansen only radical get changed not stem and in in irregular verb all the pattern get changed or any anything get changed you can see on sein bin bist ist sind seit sind okay one thing more i am going to tell you that he she and it r z n s has the same form where z n z has the same form okay and where z n z always use infinitive form for their conjugation so don't have to conjugate it but in to be present sein in behalf of sein they are using sind this is the difference only in to be otherwise you will always see z z and uh, where you are using the base form like haben you can see in haben where is also haben z z is also haben in werden where is werden z z werden then wissen you can see where wissen and z z wissen okay i think you uh, are all are able to understand this and uh, i think you can do all the things if you have any question you can ask me on the comment box and i will be very grateful to give you the answer okay thank you so now we are going to learn german articles the table of the you can see in the left side case nominative accusative dative and genitive please note down nominative accusative dative and genitive see nominative means subject subject accusative means direct object direct object dative means indirect object indirect object and genitive means of the owner so as we can see we have see, we have 16 types of the and in german there are three genders masculine feminine and neuter so masculine feminine and neuter and uh, one more category is plural so we have 16 type of the in english we use the as nominative case the accusative case the dative case the genitive case the all is the but now in german we use there see whenever we have er we sound is er ir er 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 so it is now there then them this we have to learn like this there then them this not like this there the das the it's not a good pattern we have to learn like this there then them this the the there there das das them this das das them this the the then there so where we have to use nominative where we have to use accusative where we have to use dative where we have to use genitive we are now we will talk about this nominative case is like subject like the pen the book the car the bag so the pen is there 
stiffed because the pen is masculine the pen is masculine it is there stiffed now the book das book firstly i am going to explain you the spelling of stiffed s t i f t s t i f t stiffed now book is b u c h book das book because book is neuter bag tasche t a s c h e the bag di tasche d i e d tasche okay the alphabet das alphabet now plural one the alphabets the alphabet the alphabet okay so this is the nominative case we are using uh, it's on the when uh, the article is on the or well, you can say the noun is on the subject position then you have to use the uh, as a nominative case now accusative case accusative case is used in the direct position direct position like uh, i have the table ishab dandish i have i have is ishab and now then the accusative position then tish t i s c h table is masculine table is masculine so we are using ish hab then tish i have the table i have the bag or you can say you have the bag as in informal so informal you have the bag so do hast you have is do hast do hast di tasha because bag is feminine see it, it doesn't depend upon the person who is talking or for whom you are talking about the gender defines in in european culture in german culture gender is defined from noun nouns the article contract is between nouns uh, nouns gender so we have to use that gender the gender of noun so bag is feminine we are using the and we are using the accusative case di tasha so ishab sorry du hast di tasha okay they have the car they have the car they have zi haben they have zi haben the car car is neuter auto i uh, have listened uh, heard that volkswagen das auto da car das auto so car is neuter they have the car z haben das auto z haben das auto z haben das auto now they have the cars now we don't need to identify the gender of car we just take the of they have the cars so z haben the auto it means they have the cars okay now dative case dative case is like indirect indirectly you have to say something indirectly uh, i know some prepositions and some cases where we can use it easily like with mit mit means with mit means with so if i am going to say okay i am going to take nach preposition nach nach means after whenever you have nach mit außer seit bei you will use dative dative case of course you will use dative case. and we will talk about with description in the next chapter in the next uh, video i will give you the proper description of accusative nominative accusative dative and genitive here we are just uh, taking a small 
डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके सो नाक वॉट आर यू डूइंग आफ्टर वर्क वॉट आर यू डूइंग आफ्टर वर्क वास मार्क्स डू नाक देर अबाइट हेयर वर्क इज नॉट वर्ब इट इज इन द नाउन पोजिशन सो वी आर टेकिंग वर्क 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 इज फैमिन एंड वी आर टेकिंग इट इज दर सो वास मार्क्स डू नाख दर अवाइड ओके वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस द टूरिस्ट इंफॉर्मेशन इज अपोजिट द स्टेशन The tourist information is opposite the station. So, das fair bureau, das fair bureau, is given never them ban of. Das fair bureau is given never them ban of. Now, I am taking uh, something adjective uh, trigger, like, uh, are you well? Get as they are good. Get as they are good. Genitive case uh, require the following prepositions like start, outer help, inner help, warrant. Mm, so I am taking some examples. We were late due to an accident. We were late due to an accident. Wegen eines Unfalls kamen wir zu spät. Wegen eines Unfalls kamen wir zu spät. Here, eines is in the genitive position and eines means ein. Ein means a. Now, one uh, example for like uh, basic example for, for genitive. So, basic example is I have the pen of my father. I have the pen. Ich habe den Stift auf meines Vater. Vater. Father is masculine and minus we are using the masculine genitive case. Minus Vater. D-E-S. We replace E-S. We will add E-S on the mine and it is minus. So, Ich habe den Stift auf meines Vater. Now I am telling you something like uh, how will you define masculine, feminine and neuter ending? Masculine, feminine and neuter gender. Uh, approx it is defined by endings, the endings of the nouns. So I am telling you some, some endings. You should note down that. So please, please note down that. For the masculine ending, the endings are ant, A-N-T, ant, like consonant. K O N S O N A N T consonant. Then asked, A S T asked, like palast means palace. Then ish, I C H ish, tapish, tapish means carpet. T E W P I C H tapish. So it is masculine. I G honish, honish means honey. H O N I G, ling, L I N G, ling, liebling, L I E B L I N G, liebling means darling. O R, motor, motor means engine. M O T U R, motor means engine. Then U S, us, so materialism, material, materialism. Yes, materialism is materialism is, is materialism okay it's uh, also masculine so these are the endings of masculine now endings of uh, feminine before endings of feminine i have to say that there is an exception in masculine of or das labor l a b o r labor labor means laboratory das labor and it is neuter word exceptions are everywhere now feminine endings feminine endings are a note down firstly note down the ending a a and z 
E I E N Z H E I T I E I K I U N K E I T T A Umlau T S C H A F T U N G U R these are the endings of feminine but there are some exceptions in feminine also so the exceptions are sofa das sofa it ends in a but it is neuter das jani das yani it is genius neuter das abitu abitu levelly means levelly it is also neuter okay note uh, note that about 90% of nouns about 90% of nouns ending in e are also feminine about 90% of nouns ending in e are also feminine but exceptions always there das oige means i das oige means i das interesse means interest das kaise k a um laut s e kaise means cheese hey friends if you have any problem like uh, i am not giving you notes and i am just ta talking and you are writing down so if you have any no don't not to worry at all next few in next uh, few chapters you will get nouns and gender full chapter okay these uh, because uh, this is your first lecture and i am giving you the notes so just write it down just try to remember it i will give you the lecture again uh, with the full description okay now new trending new trendings are c h e n chen c h e n chen like me a chen m a m laut r c h e n m a m laut r c h e n like l i l l das ventil so v e n t i l martian means hai, martian means is uh, fairy tale ventil means wall l e i n next ending l e i n man line m a m laut double n l e i n man line means little man then m a rama d r a m a rama means rama m e n t instrument i n s t r u m e n t instrument instrument is inst instrument o outer means car o outer means car u m um centrum means center u m um centrum means center two exceptions here also d f a m a means company f i r m a company d f a m a it's a feminine their rashtum means well r e i c h t u m r e i c h t u m rashtum wealth so like uh, there are some combinations of nouns like compound nouns their computer means the computer the computer is masculine plus tas spiel means the game now there is a rule uh, the computer with the spiel is if you, i have to say the computer game so we will not use the first word gender it is computer spiel and I, we will not use the first word gender we will use the last the spiel is das so we will use das computer spiel das computer spiel the spelling is d a s das c u m p u t e r computer s p i e l spiel das computer spiel again i am saying not to worry i will give you the chapter for nouns and gender and the table of the also it's just a short description okay if we are combining three words again the same thing their bow their tans the laharin so the teacher of belly dancing laharin means teacher laharin tans means dance and bow 
means ballet so we so we will use last one lauren the bauch tans lauren okay so friends if you need uh, some help you can uh, whatsapp me on my number i'm giving the number in uh, below in the in the description you i have given already given my number and the comment box i am also giving you the number if you have any problem you can contact me on whatsapp and if you can wait just wait for a week within a week you will get next videos for this so the next topic is table of a today we are going to learn table of a also Okay, so see you on next topic. So we are going to learn now the table of A. Again, masculine, feminine, neuter, plural, nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. So repeat after me. The rules are same. Uh, here we have plural like kind. So uh, so we can understand that A doesn't have plural form. So here is kind. Kind means no. Okay, the endings are same. So ein, ein, einen, einen, einem, einem, eines, eines, eine, 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 einer, 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 einer. Ein, ein, einem, eines, ein, 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 einem, eines, keiner, keiner, keinen, keiner. Okay, repeat after me. Ein, ein, einen, einen, einem, einem. Eines, eines, einer, 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 ein, ein, einem, eines. Now some example. Mm, I'm giving exercise. Uh, example. My father has a car. My mother has a house. So now try. 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 I am giving you 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I will tell you the answer. Just try. So now, my father has a car. My father, mein Vater, has hat. Mein Vater hat. Car is neuter, auto. Auto is neuter. And it's a direct case. So, mein Vater hat ein auto. Mein Vater hat ein auto. Now, the next one. My mother has a house. Meine Mutter, M U T T E R, M U T T E R, Meine Mutter, Mutter, hat ein Haus, because house is house and the spelling is H A U S. Meine Mutter hat ein Haus. Meine Mutter hat ein Haus. For example, he has a pen. He has a pen. I'm giving you 20 seconds. Try.
सो ही हैज अ पेन ए हाथ आयन एंड स्टिफ्ट आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट ए हाथ आयन एंड स्टिफ्ट नेक्स्ट लाइन शी हैज अ बैग she has a bag again 20 second so she has a bag z hat Aina Tasha, Z hat Aina Tasha. Okay, so now then we are going to the next topic, and the next topic is introduction in German language. Oh, it's very interesting. Okay, first lagen introduction. How to introduce yourself in German? How to say? my name is i am from i live in i am years old dash years old my profession is my mother tongue is i speak my hobbies are i like i don't like how to say so let's now start ish hi sir ish hi sir ish hi sir means i called see uh, actually we pronounce in german we have three forms first one is ish hi sir it's called i am called ish hi sir ankit i am called ankit we hi sir see what do you call yourself or i can say my name is ankit my name is ankit mine m e i mine no down the spelling no down mine m e i mine n a m e name n a m e name Ist I S T Ist Ist I S T Ist Ist. So my name is Ankit. My name is Ankit. Then the third form that is totally informal. Ish bin I am. So Ish bin Ish bin Ish bin Ankit is called I am Ankit. But it is actually it is not usable in Germany. Germany we don't use Ish bin. So. Next is ish come aus. Ish means I you don't know. Ish come aus. Then come means come means come. I come from ish come aus. I come from. Yeah, it's not I am from. It's I come from. So ish come aus Indian. I come from India. Ish come aus Indian. I come from India. Ish wohne in. I live in ish one in I live in it's simple ish one in I live in means I live in look now so I ish one in look now L U C K N O W look now I live in look now ish one in look now then ish bin dry un dry si ya ha old I am thirty three years old so I am is ish bin thirty three. Dry un dry sish, dry un dry sish. Three and thirty, three and thirty years old. Yaga alt. Okay. Ish bin lehrai phone beruf. My profession is teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, I have to say uh, say that un teristen, un teristen. I am. On teristen means teaching. So, ish bin on teristen von beruf. I said that teacher lehre is teacher. So ish bin lehre I am teacher. Or ish bin on teristen von beruf. Meine Muttersprache ist. Meine Muttersprache ist Hindi, English, und Deutsch. My mother tongue is Hindi, English, and German. Hmm, I can say my mother tongue is Hindi. So, my name which is Praga is Hindi. My mother tongue is Hindi. Ish Prashe, I speak Ish Prashe. 
हिंदी इंग्लिश टॉश चीनोजिश उन जापानिश सो इश प्रश हिंदी इंग्लिश डॉइश फ्रांसोजिश चीनोजिश उन जापानिश माइना ओबीज आर माइना ओबीज आर फुसबॉल स्पिलन उन योहन म्यूजिक माई हॉबीज आर प्लेइंग फुटबॉल एंड लिसनिंग म्यूजिक इश मार्ग दैट यू कैन राइट एनी थिंग इश मार्ग वॉट यू लाइक इश मार्ग डैश निश्ट निश्ट मीन्स नॉट आई डोंट लाइक सो यू कैन राइट एनी थिंग यू वॉन्ट लाइक इश मार्ग दिस इश मार्ग दैट और इश मार्ग इश मार्ग डैश निश्ट एनी थिंग यू वॉन्ट आई हेव रिटर्न ऑन दोफेशन सो इंजीनियर इंजीनियर कारपेंटर बाउटिशलर आर्किटेक्ट आर्किटेक्ट मेलमान मेलमैन सॉरी मेलमैन ब्रीफ ट्रैक पायलट तेरा पायलट टीचर लहरे कुक कॉक नेगेटिव फॉर्मूला सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नेगेटिव फॉर्मूला ओके गुटन टाक इच बिन फ्रा शिला इच बिन इर डॉइश लेरिन वी इस इर नामे हलो माई नामे इस चेम गुल उन्ट वो हेर कॉमन सी Aus der Türkei. Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Lena Barisova. Ich komme aus Russland. Und wie heißen Sie? Mein Name ist Anna Sanchez. Ich komme aus Brasilien. Und Sie? Ich bin Alfia Fedorova. Ich komme aus Kasachstan. Und wer sind Sie? Ich bin Herr Tang. Ich komme aus China. Hello friends my name is Ankit and today I'm going to teach you German language. So guten tag. Guten tag means hello, guten tag means good day. Tag is also good day and tag is also hello also. So guten tag ich bin Frau Schiller. Hello. I am Frau Schiller. Ich bin Ihre Deutschlehrerin. I am your German teacher. Wie ist Ihr Name? And what is your name? Hello. My name is Sam Gul. Hello my name is Samgul und woher kommen Sie and where do you come from aus der Türkei I come from uh, uh, from Turkey Wie heißen Sie How do you call yourself and what is your name you can say both Ich heiße Lena Borisova I am called Lena Borisova Ich komme aus Russland I come from Russia Und wie heißen Sie and what is your name and and means and how do you call yourself my name is ana sanche ich komme aus brazilian my name is ana sanche i come from brazilian und sie and you ich bin alfia fedorova ich komme aus kazakhstan ich bin alfia i am alfia fedorova i come from kazakhstan and und Where is Indi and who are you? Ich bin Herr Tang. I am Mr. Tang. Ich komme aus China. I come from China. So friends, you can call yourself like uh, my name is Ich heiße. Common means coming, come. And I talk about woher and wo. Wo means where and woher means where from. Okay? So learn it and uh, we are going for the next chapter okay herr gül wo wohnen sie jetzt ich wohne in frankfurt frau sanchez wo wohnen sie auch in frankfurt und sie frau borisova wo wohnen sie in steinbach wo wohnt herr tang Er wohnt in Bad Homburg. Wo wohnen Sie? Hören Sie und lesen Sie. Wo wohnen Sie means where do you live? Hören Sie means listen you und lesen Sie means and read you. Hergul, 
wo wohnen sie jetzt mr gul where do you live now jetzt means now ich wohne in frankfurt i live in frankfurt frau sanche wo wohnen sie mrs sanche where do you live auch in frankfurt also in frankfurt und sie frau borisova wo wohnen sie and you mrs borisova where do you live in steinbach i live in steinbach in steinbach wo wohnt herr tang where do you live mr tang er wohnt in bad homburg i live in bad homburg okay that's for today see you tomorrow so friends now we are going to learn negative formula negative formula the subject plus helping verb plus nish plus sentence firstly i will tell you that there are three types of form first is nine kind and nish nine means no kind means actually kind negates noun and nish negates verb so whenever you have to negate noun in the sentence you you, you will use kind and kind has its own table and when you want to negate nish you use if you want to negate verb use nisht okay so the formula of nisht is subject plus helping verb plus nisht plus sentence subject plus helping verb plus nisht plus sentence but if you don't have nisht suppose how because in german language there is a rule if you have ing in the action of verb form it means if you have present continuous tense like i am working so if you have ing in the action of verb form you will not translate is am are has been have been listen again if you have ing in the action of verb form you will not translate is am are has been have been it means you don't have to translate helping verb so ing form if you have if you have the ing form you will not translate ing and you will not translate smr has been have been so like i work i am working i have been working so i work means ich arbeite i am working same is ich arbeite i have been working is same ich arbeite all are same ich arbeite ich arbeite ich arbeite okay so that's why sometimes helping verb doesn't exist so subject plus helping verb plus nish if you have the helping verb you will put the nish after the helping verb but if you don't have the helping verb you will put nish at the last of the sentence like i am not working so ish arbeite nish okay now kind kind has its own table own table so again the same pattern nominate vakuzate date van gate masculine feminine neutrum and plural so kind kinen kinem kindness kind kinen kinem kindness again and the slow time kind kinen kinem kindness kinda kinda kinder kinder kaina kaina kainer kainer kain kain kainam kaines kain kain kainam kaines kain kain kainam kaines kaina kaina kainen kainer kaina kaina kainen kainer kaina kaina kainen kainer okay now have some example like uh, that is not loin that is not loin loin is live that is das now try yourself i am giving you 10 seconds Das ist keine Löwe. Das ist keine Löwe. Okay? He is not here. 
again I am giving you 10 seconds. Er ist nicht her. Er ist nicht her. E R R I S T is N I C H T A nicht and H I E R here. Okay. So here we have nicht after the helping verb and is it means is is a helping verb. Now they are not dancing in the house. See dancing is thansen T A N Z E N. T A N Z E N houses house H A U S house and they you know it is Z so I am giving you 20 seconds for this So, wir gehen zur Schule nicht. Wir gehen zur Schule nicht. Okay, I think it's uh, enough for negative. Let's go for interrogative form. Okay. A question formula. What is the question formula? Question word plus subject plus verb plus sentence. Yes, we can do this. Question verb plus subject plus verb plus sentence. But we can also use verb plus subject plus sentence yeah verb plus subject plus sentence so example why your brother is dancing in the house why your brother is dancing in the house so why means warum warum your brother dein Bruder dancing dance in the house Warum dein Bruder tanzt in das Haus? It's okay. But you can also make it Warum tanzt dein, dein Bruder in das Haus? Warum tanzt dein Bruder in das Haus? Okay. Now some question words. When? Wann? Wo? Where? Was? What? Wie? How? Wie viel? How much? Where? Who? Warum? Why? Welche? Welches? Means which? We feel how much? We how? So next, I am going to give you numbers also. Okay. See you on next topic. So now we are going to learn numbers. Yeah, number from 1 to 100. So, eins. Zwei, eins, zwei, vier, vier, fünf, fünf, sechs, sieben, sieben, acht, acht, neun, 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 repeat after me, neun, zehn, 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 elf, 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 zwölf, zwölf. See, Z sound is like S. So, zwölf, zwölf, dreizehn, 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 vierzehn, vierzehn. Fünfzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, achtzehn, neunzehn, neunzehn, zwanzig, zwanzig, dreißig, dreißig, vierzig, vierzig, fünfzig. 
ein undert ein undert or you can say undert also so what is the logic how they use see till 20 you have to learn ein zwei drei vier fünf sechs sieben acht neun zehn elf zwölf dreizehn vierzehn fünfzehn sechzehn siebzehn achtzehn neunzehn zwanzig and you have to learn from uh, till 20 after 20 if you want to pronounce like 21 so it will be ein und zwanzig means one will be first then you have to write und then zwanzig means 20 so one and 20 it is ein und zwanzig okay like you have to write three th uh, 34 so und dreißig 24 und zwanzig 54 und fünfzig 64 und sechzig 75 und und siebzig 75 und siebzig 65 und sechzig 85 und achtzig 98 und neunzig 98 Acht und neunzig. Ninety-nine. Neun und neunzig. See, till hundred we use this pattern. And now if you have two hundred twenty-two, then to, so you will use zwei undert. Means two hundred. Zwei und zwanzig. Zwei undert, zwei und zwanzig means 202 and 20 if you want to use 678 so 600 8 und 70 600 8 und 70 600 means 600 8 and 70 8 und 70 600 8 und 70 so till 999 you can use now i'm giving you some exercises just go ahead and practice uh, 954 i'm giving you 10 seconds okay 900 fear on fiancish Nine hundred four hundred fifty. Next, eight hundred eighty-eight. Okay, eight hundred, eight hundred eighty. Eight hundred, eight hundred eighty. So till triple nine, you can use this pattern and this is for today thank you so much for watching this video hey guys thank you so much for watching this video i think you enjoy it or uh, if there is any mistakes please uh, give me your feedback i will love to see that and uh, please subscribe my channel please like this video if you like it if you want another videos if you want like uh, please select the bell icon also so we, you will get the notifications and uh, literally i will try my best to give you best knowledge okay one thing more the chapter we have done today it is sufficient for three to four days so three to four days you have to learn this in between that i will upload the new video for you and in the next topic i am thinking that i will upload the table of the complete uh, nominative accusative dative and genitive case and complete nouns and gender and uh, so guys please support please like please watch my videos if you have any complaint please give me your feedback you can give me your feedback on whatsapp on facebook on comment box and uh, i will love to uh, give you the answer and if I have done some mistake I will love to uh, learn it okay
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. So we are going to learn now the table of A. Again, masculine, feminine, neuter, plural, nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. So repeat after me. The rules are same. Uh, here we have plural like kind. So, uh, so we can understand that A doesn't have plural form. So here is kind. Kind means no. Okay. The endings are same. So ein, ein, einen, einen, einem, einem, eines, eines, einer, 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 einer. Ein, ein, einem, eines, ein, 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 einem, eines, keiner, keiner, keinen, keiner. Okay, repeat after me. Ein, ein, einen, einen, einem, einem. Eines, eines, einer, 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 ein, ein, einem, eines. Now some example. Mm, I'm giving exercise. Uh, example. My father has a car. My mother has a house. So now try. 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 I am giving you 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I will tell you the answer. Just try. So now, my father has a car. My father, mein Vater, has hat. Mein Vater hat. Car is neuter, auto. Auto is neuter. And it's a direct case. So, mein Vater hat ein auto. Mein Vater hat ein auto. Now the next one. My mother has a house. Meiner Mutter, M U T T E R, M U T T E R, meiner Mutter, Mutter hat ein Haus, because house is house and the spelling is H A U S. Meiner Mutter hat ein Haus, meiner Mutter hat ein Haus. For example, he has a pen, he has a pen. I'm giving you 20 seconds. Try. So, he has a pen. Er hat einen Stift. I think most of you are correct. Er hat einen Stift. Next line. She has a bag. She has a bag. Again 20 seconds.
So she has a bag. Zi hat eine Tasche. Zi hat eine Tasche. Okay. So now then we are going to the next topic. And the next topic is introduction in German language. Oh, it's very interesting. Okay. Vorschlagen. Introduction. How to introduce yourself in German? How to say, my name is, I am from, I live in, I am years old, dash years old, my profession is, my mother tongue is, I speak, my hobbies are, I like, I don't like, how to say. So let's now start. Ich heiße. Ich heiße. Ich heiße means I called. See, uh, actually we pronounce in German, we have three forms. First one is Ich heiße. It's called, I am called. Ich heiße Ankit. I am called Ankit. We heißen Sie. What do you call yourself? Or I can say, Mein Name is Ankit. My name is Ankit. Mein, M-E-I, mine. Note down the spelling. Note down. Mine, M-E-I, mine. Any I mean Nama, any I mean Nama, ist I S T ist, ist I S T ist, ist. So my Nama ist Ankit, my name is Ankit. Then the third form that is totally informal. Ich bin, I am. So Ich bin, Ich bin, Ich bin Ankit is called I am Ankit, but it is actually it is not usable in Germany. Germany we don't use Ich bin. So, next is Ich komme aus. Ich means I, you don't know. Ich komme aus. Then, komme means, komme means come. I come from. Ich komme aus. I come from. Yeah, it's not I am from. It's I come from. So, Ich komme aus Indien. I come from India. Ich komme aus Indien. I come from India. Ich wohne in, I live in, ich wohne in, I live in, it's simple, ich wohne in, I live in, means, I live in Lukna, so, I, ich wohne in Lukna, L-U-C-K-N-O-W, I live in Lucknow. ich wohne in Lukna, then, ich bin drei und drei si jacha alt, I am 33 years old, so, I am is ich bin, 33 Dry und Dry Sish Dry und Dry Sish 3 and 30 3 and 30 Years old Yaga alt Okay Ich bin Lehrer von Beruf My profession is teacher Oh I'm sorry uh, Actually I have to say, uh, say that Unterrichten Unterrichten I am on terrestrian means teaching. So, ich bin on terrestrian von Beruf. I said that teacher, Lehrer is teacher. So, ich bin Lehrer, I am teacher. Or, ich bin on terrestrian von Beruf. Meine Muttersprache ist. Meine Muttersprache ist. Hindi. English. Und Deutsch. My mother tongue is Hindi, English and German. Hmm, I can say my mother tongue is Hindi. So, my name is Hindi. My mother tongue is Hindi. Ich spreche. I speak. Ich spreche. Hindi, English, Deutsch, Chinosisch. Und, und Japanisch. So, ich sprach, spreche Hindi, Englisch, Deutsch, Französisch, Chinesisch und Japanisch. Meine Hobbys are, meine Hobbys are Fußball spielen und hören Musik. My Hobbys are playing football and listening music. Ich mag that you can write anything, Ishma, what do you like? 
ish mark dash nisht nisht means not i don't like so you can write anything you want like ish mark this ish mark that or ish mark, ish mark dash nisht anything you want i've written on the profession so engineer engineer carpenter bautischler architect architect mailman mailman sorry mailman brief tracker pilot there are pilot teacher lehrer cook cock negative formula so we are going to learn negative formula okay guten tag ich bin frau schiller ich bin ihre deutschlehrerin wie ist ihr name hallo mein name ist cem gül und woher kommen sie aus der türkei wie heißen sie ich heiße lena barisova ich komme aus russland und wie heißen sie mein name ist anna sanchez ich komme aus brasilien und sie ich bin alfia fedorova ich komme aus kasachstan und wer sind sie ich bin herr tang ich komme aus china hello friends my name is ankit and today i'm going to teach you german language so guten tag guten tag means hello guten tag means good day tag is also good day and tag is also hello also so guten tag ich bin frau schilo hello i am frau schilo ich bin ihre deutschlehrerin i am your german teacher wie ist ihre name and what is your name hallo my name is sam gul hello my name is sam gul und woher kommen sie and where do you come from aus der türkei i come from uh, from turkey wie heißen sie how do you call yourself and what is your name you can say both ich heiße lena borisova i am called lena borisova ich komme aus russland i come from russia und wie heißen sie and what is your name and and means and how do you call yourself my name is ana sanche ich komme aus brazilian my name is ana sanche i come from brazilian und sie and you ich bin alfia fedorova ich komme aus kazakhstan ich bin alfia i am alfia fedorova i come from kazakhstan and und where sind sie and who are you ich bin herr tang i am mr tang ich komme aus china i come from china so friends you can call yourself like uh, my name is ich heiße common means coming come and i talk about woher and wo wo means where and woher means where from okay so learn it and uh, we are going for the next chapter okay Herr Gül, wo wohnen Sie jetzt? Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Frau Sanchez, wo wohnen Sie? Auch in Frankfurt. Und Sie, Frau Borisova, wo wohnen Sie? In Steinbach. Wo wohnt Herr Tang? Er wohnt in Bad Homburg. Wo wohnen Sie? Hören Sie und lesen Sie. Wo wohnen Sie means where do you live? Hören Sie means Listen you und listen sie means and read you. Herr Gul, wo wohnen Sie jetzt? Mr. Gul, where do you live now? Jetzt means now. Ich wohne in Frankfurt. I live in Frankfurt. Frau Sanche, wo wohnen Sie? Mrs. Sanche, where do you live? Auch in Frankfurt. Also in Frankfurt. Und Sie? Frau Borisova, wo wohnen Sie? And you? Mrs Borisova where do you live in Steinbach I live in Steinbach in Steinbach Wo wohnt Herr Tang Where do you live Mr Tang I want in Bad Homburg I live in Bad Homburg Okay that's for today see you tomorrow
सो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नेगेटिव फॉर्मूला नेगेटिव फॉर्मूला तो सब्जेक्ट प्लस हेल्पिंग वर्क प्लस निश प्लस सेंटेंस फर्स्टली आई विल टेल यू दैट देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फॉर्म फर्स्ट इज नाइन खाइन एंड निश्ट नाइन मीन्स नो खाइन मीन्स एक्चुअली खाइन नेगेट्स नाउन एंड निश्ट नेगेट्स वर्ब so whenever you have to negate noun in the sentence you 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 will use kind and kind has its own table and when you want to negate nisht you use if you want to negate verb use nisht okay so the formula of nisht is subject plus helping verb plus nisht plus sentence subject plus helping verb plus nisht plus sentence but if you don't have nisht suppose how because in german language there is a rule if you have ing in the action of verb form it means if you have present continuous tense like i am working so if you have ing in the action of verb form you will not translate is am are has been have been listen again If you have ing in the action of verb form, you will not translate is, am, are, has been, have been. It means you don't have to translate helping verb. So ing form, if you have, if you have the ing form, you will not translate ing, and you will not translate is, am, are, has been, have been. So like, I work, I am working, I have been working. So I work means ish arbeiter. I am working same is ish arbeiter. I have been working is same ish a byta, all are same ish a byta ish a byta ish a byta. Okay, so that's why sometimes helping verb doesn't exist. So subject plus helping verb plus nish. If you have the helping verb, you will put the nish after the helping verb. But if you don't have the helping verb, you will put nish at the last of the sentence. Like I am not working, so ish a byta nisht. Okay. Now kain kain has its own table, own table. So again the same pattern. Nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. Masculine, feminine, neutrum, and plural. So kain, kainen, kainam, kaines. Kain, kainen, kainam, kaines. Again, end the slow time. Kain, kainen, kainam, kaines, kaina, kaina, kainer, kainer, kaina, kaina, kainer, kainer, kain, kain, kainam, kaines, kain, kain. Kainam, kaines, kain, kain, kainam, kaines, kaina, kaina, kainen, kainer, kaina, kaina, kainen, kainer, kaina, kaina, kainen, kainer. Okay. Now have some example. Like uh, that is not loin. That is not loin. Loin is live. That is thus. Now try yourself. I am giving you ten seconds. Thus is kinda live. Thus is kinda live. Okay. He is not here. Again, I'm giving you ten seconds. Er is nisht here. Er is nisht here. E R R I S T is N I C H T A nisht and H I E R here. Okay, so here we have nisht after the helping verb and is. Yeah, it means is is a helping verb. Now they are not dancing in the house. See, dancing is thanzen, T A N Z E N. 
T A N Z E N houses house H A U S house and they you know it is Z so I am giving you twenty seconds for this. So, wer gehen zur Schule nicht? Wer gehen zur Schule nicht? Okay, I think it's uh, enough for negative. Let's go for interrogative form. Okay. A question formula. What is the question formula? Question word plus subject plus verb plus sentence. Yes, we can do this. Question word plus subject plus verb plus sentence. But we can also use verb plus subject plus sentence yeah verb plus subject plus sentence so example why your brother is dancing in the house why your brother is dancing in the house so why means warum warum your brother dein bruder dancing dance in the house Warum dein Bruder tanzt in das Haus? It's okay. But you can also make it Warum tanzt dein, dein Bruder in das Haus? Warum tanzt dein Bruder in das Haus? Okay. Now some question words. When? Wann? Wo? Where? Was? What? Wie? How? Wie viel? How much? Where? Who? Warum? Why? Welche? Welches? Means which? We feel how much? We how? So next, I am going to give you numbers also. Okay. See you on next topic. So now we are going to learn numbers. Yeah, number from 1 to 100. So, eins. Zwei, eins, zwei, vier, vier, fünf, fünf, sechs, sieben, sieben, acht, acht, neun, 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 repeat after me, neun, zehn, 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 elf, 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 zwölf, zwölf. See, Z sound is like S. So, zwölf, zwölf, dreizehn, 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 vierzehn, vierzehn. Fünfzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, achtzehn, neunzehn, neunzehn, zwanzig, zwanzig, dreißig, dreißig, vierzig, vierzig, fünfzig. Fünfzig, sechzig, sechzig, siebzig, siebzig, achtzig, achtzig, neunzig, neunzig, einhundert, einhundert, or you can say hundert also. So what is the logic? How they use? See, till twenty you have to learn. Ein, zwei, drei. Vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, neunzehn, zwanzig. And you have to learn from uh, till twenty. After twenty, if you want to pronounce like twenty-one, so it will be ein und zwanzig. Means 
वन विल बी फर्स्ट देन यू हैव टू राइट उंड देन स्वानसेश मीन्स ट्वेंटी सो वन एंड ट्वेंटी इट इज आइन उंड स्वानसेश ओके लाइक यू हैव टू राइट थ्री थर्टी फोर सो फियर उन द्राइसेश ट्वेंटी फोर फियर उन स्वानसेश फिफ्टी फोर फियर उन फ्यूनसेश सिक्सटी फोर फियर उन जेक्सेश सेवेंटी फाइव फ्यून उन जीपसेश सेवेंटी फाइव फ्यून उन जीपसेश सिक्सटी फाइव फ्यून फोन जैक्सेश एटी फाइव फ्यून फोन आक्सेश नाइन्टी एट आक्ट उन नॉन सेश नाइन्टी एट आक्ट उन नॉन सेश नाइन्टी नाइन नॉन उन नॉन सेश सी टिल हंड्रेड वी यूज दिस पैटर्न एंड नाउ इफ यू हैव टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू देन तो सो यू विल यूज स्वाय उंडर्ट मीन्स टू हंड्रेड स्वाय उन स्वानसेश स्वाय उंडर्ट स्वाय उन स्वानसेश मीन्स टू हंड्रेड टू एंड ट्वेंटी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज सिक्स हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एट सो जैक्स उंडर्ट आक्ट उन जीपसेश जैक्स हंड्रेड आक्ट उन जीपसेश जैक्स हंड्रेड मीन सिक्स हंड्रेड एट एंड सेवेंटी आक्ट उन जीपसेश जैक्स हंड्रेड आक्ट उन जीपसेश सो टिल नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन यू कैन यूज ना आई एम गिविंग यू सम एक्सरसाइज इज जस्ट गो अड एंड प्रैक्टिस नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फोर आई एम गिविंग यू टेन सेकेंड्स Okay, nine hundred. Fear on film sesh. Nine hundred. Fear on film sesh. Next. Eight hundred eighty-eight. Okay, eight hundred. Eight hundred eight sesh. Eight hundred. Eight hundred eight sesh. So. Till triple nine, you can use this pattern, and this is for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I think you enjoy it. Or uh, if there is any mistakes, please uh, give me your feedback. I will love to see that. And uh, please subscribe my channel. Please like this video if you like it. If you want. another videos if you want like uh, please select the bell icon also so we you, you will get the notifications and uh, literally i will try my best to give you best knowledge okay one thing more the chapter we have done today it is sufficient for 3 to 4 days so 3 to 4 days you have to learn this in between that i will upload the new video for you and in the next topic i am thinking that i will upload the table of the complete uh, nominative accusative dative and genitive case and complete nouns and gender and uh, so guys please support please like please watch my videos if you have any complaint please give me your feedback you can give me your feedback on whatsapp on facebook on comment box and uh, i will love to Uh, give you the answer and if i have done some mistake i will love to uh, learn it okay thank you so much thank you so much for watching